very hot. What I have here is the, of course, it's molten glass, so it's boiling water. It's just hot water, nothing's going to shatter out, it's just hot water. But I have molten glass, and you'll see. This is the glass plug that came out of that flower pot. The thing about it is it's been shattered. So Got melted out, melted to that point. Super hot. Eat some more ice in that water, Dave. of glass that I just tossed into the water is now shattered because of the thermal shock of the hot cold glass going into the cold water. And you're asking, why am I doing this? The idea is by doing that I can create unique little rock shapes and colors and combos of glass. I then take these rock chunks whatever size I want, I put it back in the kiln and I fire it into these glass buttons. And each one of these buttons is totally unique from the other one. Your colors may be the same, but your pattern and the way the striations go in the glass is going to be totally unique. So that basically every one of these pieces of glass is mine. No one else can, you know, they can take the same colors and mix it the same way, but it's not going to end up being anything like it. So, I then take these, a lot of times you use them for style, you know, you actually make buttons and put them into their glass. The other thing I've done, is if you take a large one and a small one and glue it together, you got spinners for the kids. So basically, all these rocks of glass are totally, you know, unique and different. And it's a way to just reprocess glass to something else. And a lot of times when you're working with torch part beads or you just need broken print. So you may be doing a bead and need to just roll it in a, other colors. So you may just take one color and run it and submerge it to shatter them all into small pieces. So it's a processing method, I guess is what I'm saying. It's a way to turn glass from one form into another. I have another pot, I'll do that. And then this one flows about 3.30. We have molten glass coming out of the kiln and it will be flowing into the area behind it. And I'm just going to make a mess. So that's one pot shock. I'll do another one in about five minutes. Yes. <laughs> 